Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be doing just a, a really quick warm up with uh, some faces. I'm going to go traditional today. I've been doing a lot of digital work. Um, and, and sometimes it's really good to get back to your roots. I, I, you know, I trained doing traditional uh, illustration, uh, actually using pen, ink, pencil, color pencil on paper. Um, that's kind of a novelty thing these days. But uh, it, it really gave me an opportunity, especially early on my, in my career, to, to structure um, you know, my character designs in such a way. And, and sometimes digital really doesn't lend itself uh, to that environment. You know, I like to feel the tooth of the paper. I like to feel, uh, you know, the tools and the resistance. Um, I'm going to be doing a review uh, probably in the next video of the iPad Pro versus the Cintiq Companion versus the Surface Pro 3 versus the, uh, the Wacom, um, the Wacom, excuse me, the uh, Wacom uh, drawing uh, tablet. Um, and I think that, uh, you know, this will really help you guys in understanding exactly the trials and tribulations that go along with working digitally. But today, we're doing faces, so enjoy. Right, so today, I'm going to be working on some characterizations for just, I don't know, just some fun. You know, we got to have fun every once in a while. So, I'm working on newsprint because... I don't think I'm going to use these drawings for anything other than just to warm up. I'm doing, um, you know, I'm, I'm doing these basically as my morning, you know, kind of get up and go. A lot of you guys know and follow me on the channel know that I'm a firm believer in drawing something every day. And whether it's something simple or, or observational or a character study, it doesn't really matter. Um... Well, I don't know if it doesn't really matter, but it, it depends on if you're trying to learn something specific or if you're continuing education or whatever it is. You should draw something small, you know, something every day. I, you know, a few years ago, whenever I kind of started off on my kind of re-energized uh, career, you know, I always, I, I broke it down into minutes. You know, I always said to myself, if I can get five minutes to honing and, and refining and going back to my roots and my craft, then I'll be able to change something. Um, and that's exactly what I did. I started drawing 10 minutes, 10 minutes a day, and then it turned into 20 minutes. And then I would break it down into 10 minutes in the morning and 10 minutes in the evening. And then, you know, and then I moved on to 30 minutes and 40 minutes and eventually it became like an hour. And then, <laughs> and then I thought it, it, it started kind of I don't want to say impeding on my work, but it kind of did. So I kind of had to choke it back. Now I'm probably around 30, 25 to 30 minutes. Um, and sometimes I'll spread the drawing out over days. You know, I'll do 30 minutes in the drawing. Um, and those of you guys that follow me on Instagram uh, know that, you know, occasionally I'll post a more render drawing. And that's what that is, is my 30 minute uh, drawing that I really spread over a, uh, a broader swath of time. So, working on newsprint using a color pencil, just a black standard um, color pencil made by Prismacolor. Uh, you see that I've kind of whittled it down to almost nothing, um, you know, as I progress uh, through my little drawing adventure here. Uh, these are lumberjacks. So, you know, I live in the mountains, and I see occasionally people that come through that that are, you know, either lumberjacks or they're Appalachian Trail people. And, you know, they, they've got kind of a look to them. So, you know, that's what this is. Just a kind of a little bit, uh, examination of the people and my surroundings. Um, I'm working on newsprint today because newsprint is cheap, it's plentiful, and I can really get in there and, and feel that tooth of the paper. For those of you who don't know what a tooth is, <laughs> it is kind of the texture of the paper um, that you feel whenever you draw. So certain tooth, ha certain papers have a really rough tooth, um, like watercolor paper, and depending on whether it's a cold or hot press. Um, and 
yeah, so that's that's what I really like. I really like that that tooth, that feel, feeling the utensil in my hand, the resistance, being able to draw really big. I, I really have an affinity for drawing big. I know some people, one of my friends, um, his name's Laz, I'm not sure if he's going to watch this video or not, but he likes to draw really small. Um, <laughs> he's a comic book illustrator, uh, and... I'm sure that his particular, the way that he does things really lends itself to his, um, you know, to his passion. But I like to draw big. I draw really big. I've done murals. I like drawing on big paper. I like using my entire arm. If you notice, I'm kind of locking my wrist. And I'm, and I'm kind of drawing from the elbow and the shoulder. And, and it really helps me just feel that emotion and, and the line work and, and the variables, uh, and I'm not the variables, but the variance in line work and weight, and I really like feeling that. I, I, I draw occasionally on uh, electronic devices, and, and at the beginning of this video, I had indicated that I'm going to do a review, albeit a little bit late, but I think it's necessary because I, I think right now, illustrators are kind of going, and, and, and people that draw are really going through kind of a dichotomy and direction of and a duality and direction of exactly what tool to use whenever you draw. I was watching one of the one of my uh, favorite illustrators yesterday, uh, Aaron Blaze, and he was drawing a lion, and he was doing it digitally. And one of the questions was, "What is you know what are some of the devices that you draw on uh, or that you use?" And, and his answer was, "I use pen and paper or pencil and paper most of the time." And even though he said that, he does work digitally, and he's worked digitally for years. But I think people, and, and, and artists in general, um, are really looking for that end-all, that, that one device that really solves all their, you know, all their, I don't want to say issues, but really, it helps them. And I got to really thinking about that. You know, I, I'm drawing traditionally today because I love the way it feels. And, you know, I'm sitting here thinking while I'm drawing this lumberjack with many missing teeth and hairy eyebrows. I want a device that that impedes me the least. So whenever I'm drawing and I'm drawing on paper, it's it's a there's a trade-off. You know, drawing digitally, we have the opportunity if uh, if we make a mistake to to do over. You know, we work in layers. We can really work quickly. We have we can change our brush size, uh, we can go many brushes, so there's a lot of benefits to working digitally. Um, in traditional, you don't have that impedance of power. What does that, what does that mean, Mike? It, it means that whenever I draw on paper, I don't have parallax. I don't have lag. I don't have uh, issues with pressure sensitivity. I don't have uh, issues with interface. I don't have any of those issues. And for me, I, I'm looking for the device that in this context, in what I'm doing right here in the, in the sketching and the drawing and the creating, this is, this is my bread and butter. This is where I, I, I really love to be. I, I love to draw and, and using the line, and I'm, and I'm really exploring different ways of drawing. But I, I want a device that doesn't impede me. I, I want something that, that doesn't stop me from this, from the drawing, process. Is there going to be other devices uh, out there um, or, or ways of doing things? Sure. But I'm looking for the one that, that doesn't stop, you know, whenever I'm drawing, I want that nice line. I want that pressure sensitivity there. And that's ultimately, at the end of the day, that's what the devices are trying to do. They're trying to emulate this, this process right here, this interface between man and paper. You know, I recently ordered a film to go on my iPad Pro that emulates paper. And I got to really thinking about that. I'm spending all this money. I'm spending all this time, you know, to learn these programs and all this other crap. Where at the end of the day, this is where I really love to be. I love to be with my paper. I love to be with my pencil. I love to feel things. And me going out and spending $1,000, $1,200 on a new device just really isn't very smart. I've got all the devices I need that really help me in the digital illustration world. I should, you know, I should kind of concentrate on uh, 
you know, working in this environment right here and, and getting the sketch that I love the most, and then from there, maybe taking a picture of it and, and scanning it in into the computer environment where I can manipulate it a little bit more efficiently. So, yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. Um, hopefully, whenever I do my review, you guys understand where I'm coming from. Uh, because I'm trying to find the device that, that doesn't interfere with this process. And it's been challenging, trust me. Anyway, thank you guys um, for watching, for subscribing. Uh, you know, I do the best that I can putting videos out. And hopefully, at the end of the day, you guys enjoy. So, uh, that's pretty much it. We'll definitely see you on the next one. Thank you guys. Bye. Thank you.